Hey, what's up everybody? Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. So, I've been hearing these rumors ever since I started playing that once you get into like the super max lobby when your car is running like 7.7 .7 or 7.8s, you're going to earn more respect points per win. You're supposed to get a bonus. I've been hearing that ever since I started playing this game. Well, I finally got a car that runs in the Super Max Lobby. This runs a 7.2. And it's got over 2,000 EVO points, alright? This car does not earn any more respect points per win than my other cars. Even though this run, this is running like a 7.2 and this is running like a, you know, a 8.5 or a 9 second quarter mile or something... This actually makes more respect points because it has purple stars. So, that rumor about what lobby you're in giving you more respect points is completely false, alright? It doesn't matter if you're running 7.2 or 10 seconds. You're going to get the same amount of respect points as long as your EVO points are high enough. All right, the game looks at your performance points, your EVO points, and your stars. Once you get these EVO points to around 1,000, that car is going to start earning the max RP that that car can. It doesn't matter, like I said, it doesn't matter if you're running a 10-second half mile or a 6-second half mile. Now, one thing, though, once you get to 7.7, .7, it throws you into the super max lobby. So if you're running 7.7 .7 or faster, you might want to retune your car and make it slower. Unless you're running like 6.9s to 7.2s, all right? Because I don't want to be in the... If I'm running 7.7s, I don't want to be in the super max lobby because pretty much everybody in here is going to destroy you. These people are all running like 6.9s to like 7.4s. And then there's the occasional guy who probably just got a really fast car and he doesn't he doesn't know it yet but he pops in here running the 7.7s and then gets destroyed by everybody. So that's pretty much the deal with respect points per the time your car runs. It doesn't matter. That is just a rumor. All right, let me go ahead and race this guy. This guy, you'll probably see what happens here more than likely this car is running like a 6.0 or a 6.9 and I'm running like a 6.2 so he's probably going to beat me this is a very fast car alright and it looks like we've got a slow connection here or possibly up oh, three two one go All right, so let's see. I got him, all right? So he's not fully maxed out yet. Usually those cars beat me if they're maxed out. But if you look here, you'll see I just earned 1,346 respect points. All right, as long as this car is up over 1,000 EVO, like I said, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if uh, what lobby I'm in. As long as I'm over 1,000 EVO points, this car is going to earn that same exact amount. Pretty much. Maybe a little less because I think your performance points. Like if I remove a stage 6 part or 2 and I'm still over a 1,000 EVO, I might get just a little less because it also looks at your performance points. But it's going to run roughly the same amount here. You do not get any bonus at all. Alright, you don't get any bonus at all. I'm swapping with this guy so I'm going to let him win. For what, how fast your car runs, alright? It only goes by the performance points, the EVO points, and the the stars your car has. So that was definitely just a big rumor, all right? My Lamborghini that's running like an 8.5 and has purple stars. Ah, what happened? He disconnected. But my Lamborghini that has purple stars and runs like an 8.5 that has less than 2,000 EVO points... Um, gets more points than this because its stars are purple. Alright. Okay, I don't see that guy. He must have actually got booted out of our lobby because he's completely gone. So, that's, that's the one thing with this game that's a little bit of a pain in the butt. Well, I'm 
going to go ahead and try and race this guy. Was that him? I don't know. That's another guy who has swap their name. So I'll try and swap a tank with him. As you'll see, his car just changed twice. Connection failed. Typical. Um, let's try and swap with him again. Maybe it'll let me connect to him this time. But that's weird. It's showing the, the McLaren, and then it goes to this uh, Zonda here. Very weird. All right, let's look for somebody else who's available to race. I'm not really seeing anybody. Let's go ahead and do this guy. He's got win lose in his name, so let's see if we can connect to him. So I don't know, some people think Android users can't connect to Apple users, but that's an Apple user. I connected to him, no problem. I have no issue connecting to Android people or Apple people. It doesn't matter. It's just, I'm pretty sure it's the game servers themselves that have problems with connecting. Alright, let's go. Three, two, one, let go. I forgot to hit the launch button, so I'm going to run a slower time, but that's okay. I can't talk and race live race at the same time I guess but since we're swapping this guy hey look Shackstone whatever that means so this guy should give me the win on the next one it looks like what did he run I, I didn't actually catch his time I wasn't paying attention but opponent disconnected see this this live racing is full of issues you know I bet he's completely gone I don't understand why live racing has been so bad lately. All right, let's let's try and race this guy. Postal. He's got the swap symbols here. And connection failed, of course. Some days live racing works great, other days it's nothing but nothing but problems. Yeah, you see that? I got my little please subscribe button here. Like, instead of having to put my webcam over where it puts the player ID, I found out how to use my recording software to make a watermark to cover up my player ID. That that way somebody can't steal my account if they, they see my, my uh, player ID. So I'm glad I found that. I no longer have to cover up my speedometer when I'm making my how to drive videos and all that stuff because the game decided to advertise your player ID right on the screen there. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and pick someone who's available and try and race them. I may win, I may lose, I have no idea. But well, almost everybody in the Supermax lobby is running like a 6.9s to 7.4s, so if you're if you're running like a 7.7, .7, you might want to retune your car to a slower lobby. Three, two, one, let go. I would definitely not want to come in this lobby with a seven point something car. Ooh, I got him, just barely. If my car was any slower, I run I usually run about seven point two to seven point three. If my car was any slower, I probably wouldn't I would probably retune it to go into a slower lobby because I would I get I would just be getting my butt kicked because most most people don't run most people in here are at least 7.3 or faster all the fastest cars if you'll notice almost everybody's got purple stars in here these are all people who have probably not everybody but these are all pr people who have probably spent some money to upgrade most of their cars alright here's a swap guy Let's try and swap with him. Alright, this is a car I can easily beat, I believe. I don't think this is... Oh, connection failed. Well, let's go ahead and try and... This guy will probably kick my butt, but... I usually only try and pick people that swap, but... This morning, there's hardly any swappers in here.
Alright, let's see if this guy destroys me or not. More than likely, I'm going to get killed. This car usually always beats me. So far this morning, though, I'm having a good run of luck. Three, two, one, go. Hey, I got him. I got him. 7.222 and he ran a 7.255 and he wants to rematch me since I have swap in my name I'll go ahead and let him win this one even though his name doesn't say swap I'm gonna go ahead and try and swap with him and he might actually want to swap in this lobby some people will swap even if they don't have it in their name in a lot of the slower lobbies, though, I, I wouldn't even bother because those people, a lot of those people, are dishonest. Now I'll rechallenge him to a rematch. He got a 7.1 right there. So actually, he, he must have let me win the first race, because he could have easily beat me if he wanted to. Or he just had a bad run. So I don't know. Either this guy was trying to swap with me, or he just had a bad run. So we'll see if he lets me win this time, or if he destroys me. When you try and swap with someone that doesn't have a swap symbol in their name, it's always a, always a risk. I'm not 100% sure if he's trying to swap with me or not because we're running so close. And maybe not because he's not challenging me to a rematch, so. Oh well, I, I got two wins out of it nonetheless, so let's go look for somebody else to live race. Usually I would have run a whole tank by now if I could have just connected to somebody who swapped and we just fired off races back and forth really quick, but unfortunately this morning that's not exactly how it seems to be working. I've only got three things of gas left, so I'm just gonna try and I'm just gonna try and um challenge people who are, are not swappers and see what happens. Connection failed. See, that, that wastes a whole lot of time. So all these connection issues are a giant waste of time. So, alright, connection failed again. What's going on here? I can't even scroll through. The, it's not even like letting me scroll through the cars right now. That doesn't usually happen. Always glitches with this, I'll tell you. I'm going to try and challenge one of these guys. Let's see if they accept the race. I have no idea. Guessing that that, that was the same player with two of the same cars. Let's try the other one. More than likely, they're going to refuse. Look, it says I got a Lamborghini, but I'm I'm driving my Copo Camaro. Some more weird glitches. Connection failed, of course. All right, I got four things of gas. I'll just go ahead and try and do a swapper because that'll be win two, lose two. And if I can connect to this guy, that'll be a really quick, a really quick racing section. And of course, I have the connection failed. I don't understand why live racing is always such a pain in the butt. Alright, let's try and race this guy. This car is... Nope, doesn't look like I can connect. Ridiculous. I don't know why they can't fix their game. I, I think it's their servers. I really do. I think they need to upgrade their servers, which costs crap loads of money. Because the thing is, if it, if it was just the code in the game... 
I think this the, this game would have the problems all the time, to where this game has the problems works great sometimes, other times it doesn't work at all. Some days I can get on here and I can connect to everybody, no problem. To me, that sounds more like a server issue than a code issue. I think the truth is they're just too damn cheap. Even though they're making like sixty or seventy thousand dollars a day off of this game, something like that. I I found a report on this. You know, you can you can look up the reports on how much these companies are actually making. Why did my? I think I hit the wrong button to launch or something. My nitrous isn't. Man. But anyways, you can look up reports on... That guy's not a swapper. He ran some... I'm going to rematch him anyway. But, uh... You can look up the reports and find out how much these... These mobile game companies are making. Last time I looked, it was something like $60,000 a day that this company was making. So, if they wanted... They could, they could afford to fix this game up they really wanted to even if it was their servers my thing is they, they, they the money's still rolling in so I think they're just not even gonna bother trying to fix the game as long as people are still dishing out their money got them I love these close races like that but yeah I honestly think that if people would stop playing the game maybe they would you know, and they start not making money anymore. Maybe they would actually start to fix it up. But as long as you guys keep dishing out that money, I don't think they're ever going to fix this game because I'm pretty sure it's a really expensive upgrade. And they think, well, as long as people keep spending, why should we bother to fix our servers? This is all just speculation, but that's kind of that's kind of how I feel of what's going on here. And I'll let this guy win. I'll rematch him for one last race. He ran a little slower that time. Alright, so let's do this last race. And then I'll probably just go ahead and end this video. I just wish live racing wasn't such a pain. I've heard a lot of people saying that they wanted the showdown and just had all these disconnection errors or... The game couldn't even connect him with another player. But yeah, it's, it's got to be the servers. It's got to be. And I'm out of gas. Barely got him that time. Those close races are a lot of fun, actually. Alright, so that pretty much wraps up this video. Ah, player IDs covered up. That little that little uh watermark works out just perfect. I can make that say anything I want, so I don't know if I should just leave please subscribe there or if I should change it to something else, but I guess that'll remind people to subscribe to my channel. Maybe I'll add another one. You know what? Let me add another watermark. Let's see. Text, right? Text GDI. I don't know what that is. I forget. There's all these different choices here. Image. All right, let's try this. That's not what I want to cancel. I'm just playing around right now, so.
Let's try this. I have no idea. Let's try. Okay. Here it is. And it's like it's it's all upside down and backwards. <laughs> I wonder how that happened. Huh. Remove. I don't know how to make it read from file. What is that? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing here. So I'm going to go ahead and just end this. Alright. <laughs> Catch you guys later.